Hello guys, welcome back to programminginpython.com. Here in this video, I am going to show you how to access MySQL database in Python. Actually here you can access MySQL database and perform all the database operations that can be performed like creating, reading, updating and deleting. So basically this is a CRUD operations on MySQL database using Python. So first we need some module to connect to MySQL. So here as I am using Python 3, I will use PyMySQL that is PYMYSQL. You can install it using PIP install PMY, uh, PyMySQL or if you are using Windows you can use it by using easy install PyMySQL. So after installing PyMySQL, so first um, um, uh, to perform all these database operations we need to create a database. So I will just create it using this. Uh, uh, this is the this is my database I just created python tutorial database name python tutorials this one this is the database I just created empty database there are no tables so we, we create the we so here in this tutorial we create some tables and insert data in the tables using this uh, python and so let's get started so first I'll create a new file uh, for creating a database table I'll name it as um, create table so after creating a new file so first what we need to do is first we need to import that uh, package which you want to use this package provides us with some functionalities like uh, connecting to a database performing operations so for connecting to a database there is a function called connect so I will just connect that uh, connect to database using this uh, using um, so I'll just connect to the database using this uh, PyMySQL's connect function dot connect we can connect to database here we need to give some parameters here that is first one will be the host that is localhost I'm using php my admin here so that will be localhost and the uh, username will be root and I don't have any password so password will be empty and we need finally we need to give something called database table that is just we created the database is um, python tutorials i'll just copy the name from here this is the database name here now we can connect to the mysql database so we need something called cursor so which can so that we can perform some sql queries on it using this cursor we can perform some sql queries on it so first i'll set it to some variable called db and now i will initialize cursor using this um, db.cursor So I have initialized this cursor. So now we can perform any MySQL query using this. Uh, like this, we can use this cursor dot execute, and we can perform all the queries. Something like something like this. Execute, and you can uh, uh, write any query here. Select star from uh, some table, and all. All queries can be written using this uh, cursor dot execute method. So now here we want to create a table. So we will just write a um, create command here so first I will prepare the uh, SQL for create command we will write um, SQL create table and I will write some SQL for creating a table so I will just paste my SQL query here this is a SQL query for create I am going to create a table name person which has ID and first name last name age sex and you can also set a primary key here i set it as id this is a simple sql query not uh, related to python and all these are sql queries you can write a uh, plain raw sql queries here so that they can be executed so now uh, I, now i will pass this to this uh, cuts.execute so now we can create it so now with this um, with this thing uh, our new table gets created so after everything we need to close the connection database connection so I will use uh, db dot close and now the database connection will be closed this um, so now what we have done is pretty simple we'll just imported this uh, uh, module uh, connected to database using its function created the cursor for uh, performing all database operations and then uh, 
created this SQL query and executed this SQL query. So now if I run and see, well, we can see a new table gets created there. So let's run and see. See here you can see the output. So now if I go here and uh, now if I refresh this, you can see a new table gets created here. See here, we can see a new table person created here. And if you click on it, you can see all the structure what we have created here. This is the structure we created, ID, first name, last name, age and sex. So finally we have created this table using this Python. So now after creating a table, we need to insert some data. That inserting data would be also pretty similar. What we'll do is we'll just uh, replace this uh, create um, create query with some insertion query, insert data query. So that is pretty simple. So I'll replace this with this insert query. So now here if I inserting, I also want to do some uh, uh, catching. Uh, when someone is not inserted, suppose we are inserting wrong IDs and if we are not inserting correctly, we need to catch the errors. So I'll use this execute in the try block. Try and this Python in this Python we need indentation. So we have indented it and then execute. Uh, if everything goes correctly, we need to db dot commit. So what does it if um, we use uh, commit and rollback. So what this rollback does is if anything uh, any problems occurs in middle of the insertions like some tab, some uh, columns are inserted and some are not inserted then something uh, stun then something happens and break. So we need to roll back so that all the changes get reverted instead of uh, inserting half of or incomplete things everything will get reverted so that we will use this uh, so we use this commit and rollback in success and failure conditions respectively. So for accept um, we use some um, PyMySQL error and when error what we'll do is we'll just roll back. So that's it. So that's it. Now if we run this uh, command we'll see this ABC, ABCD and uh, some uh, dummy data gets inserted there. You can see here and if I refresh this you can see the data here that you can see here first name last name age and sex got inserted here in this table so that's how we can insert data using this uh, PyMySQL packages in Python so after that if we need to update data it's also pretty simple we'll just replace this uh, insert command with some update command so this would be the update command so this would be the update query. What we are doing is we are updating a person's age uh, when 20. Uh, in the previous situation, in the previous condition, we inserted the age as 20 here. You can see it. The age is 20. And what we are doing is when person's age is, uh, we are going to set the person person's age as 30 when its uh, sex is M. So here the sex is male. So we'll set its age to 30. So we should be, we'll see. So you'll see uh, after this execution of this program whether it's set to 30 or not. So now it's also pretty simple. This is a um, basic uh, SQL query, and now we will run this and see. And again, I'll go to this database and refresh. You should see this age is set to 30. So that's how we can. Uh, use this update operations to update the uh, data in the database and after this update operations finally we should we, we should uh, also have the ability to read the data in the database so we'll just uh, use um, here pretty simple we'll just use this select star from and while showing the data we'll use some um, some for loops to show the data so it is pretty simple I'll write select star from person mm, so the table name is person so we'll select everything from the person and in this try block after executing the SQL I mean after executing the query what we need to do is 
instead of doing db commit we are not committing anything and we we know we do we don't need this commit and rollback we are just selecting the data so after getting this uh, data what we'll do is we will uh, capture all these uh, results results equal to we'll use uh, uh, this um, We'll, we'll ha we have this uh, function called fetch all what we'll do is after uh, what this fetch all does is uh, collects all the results for um, for this uh, query executed so we'll use this and we'll store this in results and now we'll loop this results and we'll show all the results so what we'll do is for row in results what we'll do for row in results will show the first name uh, and uh, actually we have only one thing actually we have only one column one one person data if we have many things we can set it into a list and sh show that list here so I am writing like this instead of our first name we'll get the row first one and for last name age and sex we'll get similarly like this so now we have uh, um, got all these results now we'll just print them and show we're using a simple print command I'll just zoom it and show for you so I'll, so I'll just use this print command to print all the results there is first name equal first name last name age and sex as these variables here just a formatted print statement here this is just a so uh, in when we got an error we'll just print uh, unable to connect to database or, or so in this um, error case we'll just uh, uh, print unable to fetch data or some some dummy text some error message which we can uh, recognize and uh, debug later so for now I will just keep it as error and now I will just uh, run this and see you can see uh, some of the data showing here first name last name age and gender and all so we have only one column there so it's showing only the one column data so if you have many columns it will show all the data here so that's how we can perform read operations on it and finally we can also perform some digit operations on it instead of this select we'll simply write delete uh, we'll go and delete from this person table itself delete from person uh, we need to also set a condition where what condition we'll set some condition like age is greater than some 28 or 29 or something because our uh, person's age is 29 there in our database so I will set this as as is a string we'll use this percentage d and uh, is age would be we will set to some 29 this would be so person's age would be so uh, in the database we'll go on to delete every uh, person whose age is 29 greater than 29 so now in this uh, try block we don't need all this and here we need we need db dot commit and db dot rollback again so we'll use this db dot commit and db dot rollback so now if I run this database so now if I run this program and see so now if I refresh and see you will see this uh, column gets deleted you can see this column is deleted so that's how this uh, unreal operation is performed so finally in this post we have learned about creating a table inserting data into it updating the data reading the data and de deleting the data actually in this uh, simple program simple demo I have just used only single table not to a single row this is uh, the same operations performs with uh, any number of database tables any number of rows and this is also plain SQL queries you can see for creating and inserting and these all SQL queries and this um, demo is mainly intended to how to use this kind uh, this uh, MySQL database and uh, in Python so that is the main purpose of this tutorial so thank you for watching guys if you like this videos please subscribe to the channel share it with your friends leave a comment bye bye see you in the next video